The DSM-5 came out a few months ago uh, to some controversy over its treatment of grief, uh, which makes it easier to diagnose a grieving person with a mood disorder. Uh, what's your opinion about this revision? Well, you know, I, I think it, it has to be understood, and it, and, and it did a number of things, really. Um, first of all, it allowed the... Um, uh, the diagnosis of grief um, for depression, uh, it, it, it took away what's called the bereavement expression, uh, exclusion, so that somebody who has depression could be diagnosed, uh, somebody who has bereavement can be diagnosed with depression, also uh, adjustment disorders, and also separation anxiety. So all of those now are um, examples of diagnoses that could be given to someone who's experiencing bereavement. Um, they also talked about a possible category as, as needing more research as one additional form of complicated grief. And um, and, and that would be um, persist, you know, I, I, I just can't think of it right now, but, um, but essentially persistent complex bereavement disorder. Um, that, that would be the term that they, they, they are suggesting. Well, I think the controversy is in a, in a, in a few ways. Um, one is um, really over fears that, that now grief will be overdiagnosed and overmedicated. Um, Another is that certainly while persistent uh, bereavement, uh, uh, persistent complex bereavement disorder may be one form of complicated grief, there are others um, which will need to be researched in the future as well. But, uh, but I think the overall argument, the overall concern is the pathologizing grief and, 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 and over-medicating grief. And that's a legitimate concern. On the other hand, I think we have to acknowledge um, the positive that after ignoring grief, we are recognizing that certain kinds of grief, uh, most kinds of grief are, are very typical and people go through a typical process of grief, a very individual process of grief, um, and in fact uh, come through it relatively well. Some people even grow in it. Uh, but that there is a portion of people, uh, maybe five to ten percent, who have who do have more complicated reactions, and hopefully, what DSM five will do is give us an opportunity to to treat these people, um, and and give us the tools to treat these people without necessarily pathologizing the rest of the population that that really is 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 doing relatively well uh, as they cope with loss.